Hello, today I wanted to talk about my manga, The Furies. I originally made this manga with the help of my brother, and we had originally planned it out well, more or less while we were in high school. As was our first project, it evolved before eventually being good enough to be published. So far we already have about five volumes published, but there's still a decent amount of liners that are in the back catalog. See, this is some of the original character sheets of some of the people that were to become the main characters of the manga. Eventually, we added some other folks here and there, and others became less prominent. This is what some of the original pages of the manga look like. As you can see, the main ca uh, one of the main characters, Gilgamesh, looks quite different from how he looks right now. See, he's getting into silly fights with specters and so forth. Well, in very early on, we use a lot of references for the fighting, but we always try to keep it fresh and original. Now, here we have the things. See, but in the but now with my skills better. See, the character Gilgamesh, uh, we evolved quite a lot. See, I ended up adding little rose antennas for reasons that will become more obvious if you read the manga. Eventually, we added his little dog of friend and Kiku and so forth. And then, see the same scene playing out and so forth. It says that this time Gilgamesh is ready for it because he's having a deja vu of the original version of the manga so he knows what to expect. These are just the raw line arts. Eventually they get lots of nice shading in the computer and it gets more of a bit of a manga look. But as long as I had the raw line art, the manga, the manga can change its looks and in every new edition. I can even make it in color, should I have a mind to do so. But as with most things, drawing the manga in color just tends to cost a lot more money and so forth. So I only bother with the front cover, which I painted it with watercolors and so forth. As you can guess, these are the three main furies, but they eventually start appearing less and less. I just tend to go with the flow with my own little ideas on the manga. Eventually, eventually, the character of Brahma became a little bit more prominent. Although he was already planned to be a main character very early on and so forth. Alright, let's find a little, little Brahma. Oh yeah. Here's some of the old drawings. From back in from back in high school, see, with the little Kida. Sorry, everyone, my camera ran out of batteries for a bit, so I had to pick this up after the camera finished charging. But you will notice a difference because we kind of fuse the videos together. So yeah, the character Brahma has gone through a lot of evolutions and so forth. Using his little avatar form, Kalkin. It's a Hindu thing. I studied Hinduism when I was in college and it seemed amusing, so we integrated a little bit of that into the manga. Here's how he here's how he originally looked in the old version of the manga. See, he has evolved quite a lot. The last thing I wanted to show you was the little watercolor paintings that are going to become future in future front covers for the manga. Here's the front cover that you're all familiar with. And then here's another one. Oh, that one's from like a different book. Ah, uh, oh, here we are. Here's Brahma and his other avatar, Kalkin. They're one and the same people and everyone is everything. And we are all together. Here's Franco and his little daughter, him. He's a very recurring, he's a recurring character. 
here's Omega, and here's Dark Phoenix. He's usually born in Kiko a lot, who's the little dog that belongs to Gilgamesh. And then Picos. And that's about it as far as possible from cover, see? I work really hard on my little watercolors and so forth. I hope you find this little information about my manga amusing and I hope it motivates you to give my manga a shot. I work really hard on it and it has been the combination of almost a decade of hard work and determination. Bye bye and God bless. Also, 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 I forgot one last thing. Oh yeah, which is to mention how I actually drew the manga. First I drew the page with pencil, then I drew the and then I drew with pen over it, then I erased it and then you have a perfect liner. So I guess that's about it as far as my manga is concerned. And now for real this time. Bye bye and God bless.